Shalom, I'm back with part two. Vocab says, nobody knows what the MOTB, the Karagma is. All right, and of course, he's wrong as he is about a lot of things. All right, so, uh, you know, again, you know, also the fact is that, you know, uh, making claims that nobody knows what the MOTB is, I mean, really, again, it's revealed onto John the Revelator. All right. So anyway, let's start here. All right. Surely the Lord God will do nothing but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. All right. That's out with our elbows on down. All right. And remember that the prophets are spiritually subject unto the prophets. All right. As you read in Corinthians. All right. So uh, let's go to this word here, reveal. All right. Strong's H, 1540. Gala. Gala. So what is it saying when it says that the Lord, right, the Most High, through His Son, He revealeth His secrets unto His servants, the prophet. All right. What does it mean? Right here, to reveal himself of the Most High. See, the Most High has to reveal himself unto you. And he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. And if the Lord doesn't reveal himself to you, then you can't come into this, to the council. And again, in order to come in, you don't walk in on the way. You have to be invited in. Okay? Many are called, few are chosen. All right? Nobody walks in on the wares. Okay? You understand? And, and that process would have had to have taken place, okay, before the foundation of the world, before the world began. In the heavens, where you were sanctified and ordained. Okay? As a spirit. When the Lord created you. Now, is that for the whole world? No. Is that for, you know, uh, anybody outside of Israel? No. Is that for all of Israel? No. Because the Lord is only dealing with a one third. That's it. All right. And the scriptures tell you that when you go into the word election in the blue letter. Okay. And we're in the blue letter. But you go to the word election, and it gives you that breakdown, that understanding. Okay? And then that's backed up when you read uh, Jeremiah 1 and 5. Okay? Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. How would he know you before he formed you in the belly? He knew you as a spirit when he created you. And before thou camest out of the womb, out of your mother's womb, I sanctified thee. That means he separated you from the rest of mankind. And I ordained thee, which means he decreed, made thee a prophet unto the nations. See that? All before the foundation of the world. So again, it would be that it would lie dormant within you, this gift, until it was time for you to be awoken. Okay? The valley of dry bones. You understand? All right, the great awakening. You understand, people? All right. Okay, see, to be revealed, to be disclosed, to be discovered. All right, I believe you people get the point, see, to reveal oneself. And that's how you come into this truth. This is how you get the new song. Okay, this is a path that leads to immortality. All right? All right. Give me a minute. All right, it's Colossians 1 and 26. Even the mystery which have been hid from ages, right, and from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. The saints, right, are his servants, the prophets. And that starts with the elect of Israel, the one-third. Do people understand that? All right? Ephesians. Okay? 
Let's jump to Ephesians. Ephesians 3 and 5. All right. Which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, which would be the sons, right? Was not made known to the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and the prophets by the Spirit. See that? You people understand that? You got that? All right. What else? Give you another one. Uh, 1 Corinthians. Let's see. 1 Corinthians is that. 4 and 1. What does it say here? 1 Corinthians 4 and 1. And it says, let a man so account of us as of the ministers of Yahweh Shai, the stewards of the mysteries of the Most High. You see that? You see that? All right? Give me a minute. Let's go to Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews 1 and 14, I believe. Let's go to Hebrews. Sorry. 1 and 14. All right. Let's see who those administrating uh, spirits are. All right. Okay. Are they not all ministering spirits? Sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of the salvation. I'll read that again. Are they not all ministering spirits? This is talking about the angel. This is how the Lord reveals himself to us through the angels, right? His spirit. Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth? To minister, right? No words to guide us, all right? You know, his, his elect, his chosen, all right? For them who shall be heirs of salvation. See that? Let's see what it says here about ministering. Strong's G3010. See, relating to the performance of service, right? And the angels are in the service of the Most High, right? And their son, employed in ministering, right? You need to serve at the state of one's own course, right? To assume an office which must be administered at one's own expense. Let's see here. See? A priest, Levite. All right? See? A Christian, right? Which would be Israelite, because you'd have to be an Israelite to be a Christian. All right? Again, disciples coming out of the Temple of Antioch, Acts 11 26. All right? Whether by prayer or by instructing others concerning the way of salvation or in some other way. All right, of those who aid others with their resources and uh, relive uh, their uh, relieve their pro uh, their poverty. All right. So again, the angels they they act as guides. All right, you understand that? All right, and uh, let me give you one more. All right, Second Corinthians. All right. Second Corinthians, uh, where are we here? Second Corinthians, uh, four and seven, I believe. See, but we have this treasure, 
what is the treasure? There's truth, wisdom, knowledge, understanding of these scriptures. We have the new song. All right? Okay, which is talked about. I'll take us over there. Uh, Revelation is the uh, 14th chapter. All right? Starting at the top. All right, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels. See? And we are those vessels. All right? And we have the treasure, this truth, wisdom, knowledge, understanding, the new song. That the excellency of the power, right, may be of the most high and not of us. You see that? Because, again, we're just the mouthpiece of the Lord, right? That's all we are, all right? Matter of fact, let's do that before we go over to 14. Give me a minute. That is 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8. What does it say here? And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume. What does it mean to consume? To be devoured, to be destroyed with the spirit of his mouth. Who is the spirit of his mouth? The prophets. You go to Luke 1.70. Okay. Let's see here. Luke 1.70. All right. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophet, which have been since the world began. See that, people? There's no getting away from that. All right? See, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people. He's, he's, he's coming back to redeem his people, Israel. All right? But it all starts with his elect. He's not coming back for everyone, but the elect. All right? As you read throughout the scriptures, Particularly what? Matthew 24, 31, right? He shall send us in, he shall gather his elect, right? From the four corners of the earth, from the four winds, north, south, east, west, from one end of heaven on to the other, scattered into all nations. And that's talking about us, the Negro Latinos and the Americans, all right? He have raised up the horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. See? There you go. All right, give me a minute. All right. All right, this is Revelation 14, but you know what? We'll pick this up when we come back. All right, with part three. All right, so show one. We'll be right back with part three.